Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome back. This is a fourth lecture on UAE economic substance regulation. And today we will discuss notification and reporting requirement along with some other sections as well. In our previous lectures, we have established that an entity which is subject to economic substance test, this is the minimum requirement for that entity. Out of these minimum requirement, we have already discussed how to satisfy the economic substance test. Today, we will discuss rest of the other sections. So, first of all is notification requirement. Article 8 of the cabinet decision says that notification requirement is applicable on an annual basis. And each notification and every time licensee needs to highlight whether or not it is carrying on any relevant activity. If yes, have the licensee earned any income from the relevant activity that is subject to tax in a jurisdiction outside of the state as well as licensee will be required to mention the date of the end of the relevant financial year. So this is the minimum requirement for the notification. Moreover, this notification time, form and manner, it will be decided by the respective regulatory authority. And every licensee will be required to follow the time, form and manner decided by the regulatory authority. In our previous lectures, we had decided a licensee who is conducting a relevant activity is subject to notification except a company which is held at least 51% by the federal government, MS government, government authority or any body of them. Apologies for this, there is some sort of clarification here. They are mentioned in the frequently asked questions. Even a company which is held at least 51% by the government, MS government or government authority, that company is also subject to notification requirement, subject to the condition the company is conducting relevant activity. So we can summarize the discussion of notification. Every licensee is subject to notification if the licensee is conducting relevant activity. Frequently asked question number 38, they mentioned the same thing. A licensee who undertakes relevant activity irrespective of this, the licensee qualify for exemption or licensee has earned income. So we can say a licensee which is conducting relevant activity, even the licensee which is exempt from ESR, even the licensee who has not earned any income from the relevant activity, that licensee is subject to notification also. So notification for the financial period 2009 to be filed on or after 2019. So on or after 2019, and we have already decided in the previous slide, the time, the form and the manners of the notification will be decided by the respective regulatory authority. We have prepared a summary for the notification issued by the different regulatory authorities. These, these are the regulatory authorities. They said this is a procedure of filing of the notification. So some regulatory authorities are asking for notification through the portal some are asking through the emails so we can go through this and this is a timeline that they have decided for the notification we need to honor the timeline as given by the respective regulatory authority DED has not announced any time to submit the notification as a today once it will be announced by the DED and you will be updated it accordingly Let's discuss reporting requirement. For the reporting requirement, we have already discussed every licensee except the companies held at least 51% by the government or government authority or body of them. If they are conducting any relevant activity, they are earning any income from the relevant activity, then they are subject to reporting requirement. And the same thing it has been mentioned in article 3 of the cabinet decision. In the same way, in the frequently asked question, they have highlighted the same thing. The timeline to submit the return is 12 months from the end of the financial year. 
So if the company's financial year is ending on 31st December 2019, they will have to submit the return on or before 31st December 2020. Reporting requirement. What is the information that required to be reported in the return? The following information required to be provided in the return. What will be the information? We have already discussed economic substance test requirement. What was the test requirement? There are three tests we have discussed. It was functional test, management test and adequacy test. And objective of the return is to prove all those tests has been met. So we will be required to provide information. Whatever we have discussed earlier, the same information we will be required to provide. Like what type of relevant activities company is conducting, what type of relevant income company is earning, operating expenditure, operating assets, location, business premises, full-time employees, SIGA, core income generating activities. So all this information we will be required to provide in the return. Moreover, licensee will be required to submit a declaration whether the licensee has met the economic substance test or not. In case of high risk intellectual property business we have already discussed it will always be assumed that licensee has not met the economic substance test requirement in case of high risk intellectual property business and licensee will have to provide the information to the regulatory authority to justify that the esr test has been met so in case of in case of high risk intellectual property business we can say licensee will be required to provide some additional information to refute the presumption that the licensee has not met the economic substance test this additional information the core objective of this additional information is to prove that the licensee is the genuine owner of the intellectual property moreover licensee is conducting the activity in UAE. So how can they prove they said high degree of control on the development, exploitation, maintenance and enhancement of the intellectual property, business plan showing the reason of holding the ownership of the intellectual property, employee information and the evidence of decision making is taking place within the state. All this information will be required to be provided to the regulatory authority to prove that the economic substance test has been met. Moreover, whenever the relevant activity is being outsourced by the licensee to the third party, then licensee will be required to prove that SIGA is being carried out in UAE, educate supervision is being done by the licensee, the licensee will be required to provide further information. The licensee will be required to justify the third party has sufficient resources, employees, operating expenditure, premises to carrying out the core income generating activities on behalf of the licensee in UAE. This information will be required to provide it as well. Exchange of information. Licensee will submit report to regulatory authority. Regulatory authority and if regulatory authority feels that licensee has not met the economic substance test, then regulatory authority will pass on this information to the local competent authority and local competent authority will pass on this information to the foreign competent authority. But important thing is regulatory authority will provide this information to the competent authority if licensee has not met economic substance test. If licensee has met economic substance test, then regulatory authority will not pass this information to the competent authority. However, in case of high risk IP license, licensee will provide information to regulatory authority. Licensee will have to justify that licensee has met economic substance test whether the licensee has met the economic substance test or not this information will have to be provided by the regulatory authority to the competent authority and competent authority will pass on this information to the foreign competent authority in our coming lecture we'll discuss the relevant activities in detail it will give a further understanding of the economic substance regulation thank you very much for joining us thank you